So maybe about a year and a half now, no, no, just about a year ago, I was reading books about Muslims. And uh, three books in a row by the same author, and I can't remember her name, but she was making the point that Muslims are going to take over the world. They want Sharia law everywhere. And they were all just very scary stories about Muslims. <laughs> and I thought, I'm scared of the Muslims, and I really need to do something about this. So I... You know, I was at that point where I was either going to work myself up into a frenzy and be just as scared as I can be. And I kept thinking about my little boys, who at the time were five and two, and if thinking that if I can't calm myself through this fear and, you know, work myself through this fear um, that three books have caused, <laughs> um, how am I going to teach my young sons? to deal with fear and people who are different and different ideas. And just then, um, I'm not really sure how I got on the Project Interfaith email distribution list, but I'm so thankful I did, because ju I mean, just right then, when I was in my most frenzied, scared of the Muslims moment, the email came through about the Community Mosaic Project, um, interviewing people of different faiths, promoting understanding between faiths, um, learning about different religious ideas, beliefs, cultures, um, and I thought, that's what I need. I need that. I need to go meet some Muslims. <laughs> and that's when Sierra paired her with me because I'm the scariest Muslim she knows. <laughs> it would be perfect. <laughs> perfect. And the most innocuous, actually, I think, <laughs> probably. But it was good because I think I'm, I, well, I don't look like a Muslim. I've been Muslim for 20 years. Um, but I don't look like a typical one, and I, I guess I am an unconventional one, being a convert and and all that. But um, that first lunch um, at the Greek restaurant, right? Because I don't think, had we gone through the training already? We had gone through the training already, and then I asked you if you would be willing to talk to me, be, you know, talk to me through some points that I had built up through these books and some ideas that I just wanted to clarify. And Kale was so generous and kind. Um, to say, sure, you know, let's go to lunch. I'll answer any questions I can, and hopefully it'll help. And so we did. I don't know, two hours, two and a half yeah, hours. Yeah, two and a half hours like later. Yeah. yeah. What about this, Kale? What about that, Kale? What do you know well, about this? Well, it was good and for me, too, because the questions I didn't know then I would go find out. Um, because, you know, ha having a faith and having a religion, I think the most important thing that I try to tell people is, if you're a Christian or if you're a Jew or whatever faith you are, think of all the people you know. Think of all the people you know that are a Christian or a Jew. And some are very conservative, some aren't so conservative, some are practicing, some are kind of practicing, some aren't practicing. Um, and, and in Islam, we have all those people too. We have all those people in all that spectrum as well. But uh, the only people, I, the only Muslims I think we see regularly on the television um, are the scary ones. The very scary ones, right? Yeah. And I think through Project Interfaith and the Community Mosaic Project, I think I'm still scared of those scary ones, but I, I think I'm a little unsettled by some very extreme Christians, some very extreme atheists, some very extreme anybody. It's, you know, we all are, but what I've learned through Project Interfaith is that there is such a broad spectrum of faiths and ideas, and even if you walk into a Presbyterian church, those people are not going to share the very same story with you. You know, we interviewed, I don't know, 10 to 20 people at each location, well sometimes just a couple, but 10 to 20 people at each location, and every story was different. It, you know, their paths were so varied, and, and they were all just seeking, and, um, you know, I, I came to, to understand that Muslims are the same. There's yeah. a, and that's what Kale really helped me understand is that um, there's not a Muslim, and that's it's, what yes. they are. I mean, there are some people who would say, "Yep, this is it. This is it," and, and don't deviate from the plan. But everybody deviates. I mean, we're just people. Um, so, but when you're practicing a faith and you're just kind of going along day to day, this was a real shot in the arm for me to kind of say, "Okay, now." Um, some of this stuff I have to think through. Okay, why is it? Why is it we do things this way? You know, because you just do it. And what, where did that belief and come where from? Did where did this come, come from? Yeah, from? exactly. You know, and um, there was, and, and 
being from Nebraska, my husband's family being from Pakistan, uh, and then knowing Muslims from around the world, I, I learned very quickly that a lot of things that I thought were Islamic were cultural. You know, and, and how to divide what comes from the Quran, what is, you know, something we do because it's, you know, because we're Muslim, and what do we do because we're Pakistani. And, and that was, you know, no matter where you come from, Sudan, Somalia, Saudi Arabia, it's going to look different. Uh, Bosnia, it's just going to look a little bit different, you know, all the way through. But I think the big thing was, once you know somebody and you know a little bit about that faith, then you're not so afraid to talk to other people. You know, it's all about relationships because if you know somebody who's a Muslim or you know somebody, um, uh, then it's just easier to ask the questions, I guess, that you're wondering. Yeah, it was much easier for me to ask Kale than for me probably to show up at the, <laughs> at the, the mosque, mosque and say, Hi, I have some questions. Anybody around want to talk to me? So, you know, it was wonderful to have Kale just be that voice. And, 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 you know, nobody knows everything about their religion. And so, you know, there were times she would not have an answer. And, and I'm, I'll get back to you on that. I say that. You know, I'll get back to you. On if somebody came up and asked me every, you know, something about Christian religion, which is sort of my background, I would certainly say, I don't know, possibly, you know, on so many things. So I think that putting that human spin on it through seeing all these different people that are maybe going to the same building to worship or commune together, uh, be in a community of faith together, seeing all these people that are going to the same building and calling themselves the same title, the same label, doesn't mean they're all exactly the same. And I think that was really helpful for many faiths for me to understand.